Welcome to the math record. Today I'll be covering the ICTM Regional 2017 Division AA Junior Senior A person. I'll be splitting this into two parts. The first part, which I'll be covering questions 11 and 16, and next part, which I'll be covering questions 17 and 20. Okay, so let's, I'll scroll through all 20 questions. Okay, so let's begin with number 11. Three vectors in standard position has endpoints 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1, negative 6. Determine the exact volume of the parallel peptide uh, formed by these three position vectors as the side of the parallel peptide. So basically, uh, if it's in standard position, uh, the endpoints are basically the vectors. So then it's 1, 2, 3, 3, 2, 1, and 2, 1, negative 6. So there's actually a really easy way to do this to find the volume. You just took, you just take the cross product of two vectors, which give you another vector, and then you do the dot product of that vector with the third vector. So let's just do the cross product of these of these two. So it'll be one, two, three, three, two, one, and then it's basically the x, y, and the z. So all you have to do is basically kind of take like a three by three deter um, determinant. So then it will be two minus 2 minus the 6, which makes negative 4 for your x. And then for your y, is 1331. So 1 minus, 1 times 1 is 1. 3 times 3 is 9. So 1 minus 9 is negative 8. Take a negative and negative 8. That makes 8. Now for the z, we have 1, 2, and 3, and 2. So 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 minus 6 is negative 4. So this is our vector. And now we just need to do the cross product of negative 4, 8, negative 4, and our final vector, which is 2, 1, negative 6. And the dot product, you just multiply the respective ones together. So 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. 1 times 8 is 8. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 24. Add them all together, and that's your volume. So your answer is 24. And that's it. That's all you have to do. OK, now number 16. Determine the non-zero values for x such that arctan of 5x plus arctan of x equals arctan of 2x plus arctan of 3x. So basically the trig identity that we're going to use to solve this is tangent of x plus y is equal to tangent of x plus tangent of y over 1 minus tangent of x times tangent of y. But how are we supposed to do that? These are arctans. Well, if you kind of think about it, how do we get rid of an arctan? Well, we could take the tangent of a arctan. Because if you take the tangent of arctan and there's a value of, let's say, a, then it's just going to come out as a. And that's all we have to do. So we're just going to take the uh, tangent of the right side and the left side. So the tangent of arctan, which is basically just inverse tan. I'm just going to write inverse tan because it's easier. Inverse tan of 5x plus inverse tan of uh, x, which is equal to tangent of the inverse tangent of 2x plus the inverse tangent of 3x. Right, so we know this is true because I just took the tangent of both sides. Because if the values are equal and we take the tangent of equal values, they should come out as the same. So all we have to do now basically is just plug it in. Because we know our x is now inverse tan of 5x, and our y is inverse tan of x. And we just plug it in here. So a tan of an inverse tan of 5x, that's just 5x. And then plus the tan of an inverse tan of x, that's just x. And then 1 minus tangent of x, which is 5x. And then tangent of y, which is x. And now we do the same thing for the right side, so which is... The tangent of the inverse tan of 2x is 2x. The tangent of the inverse tangent of 3x is 3x. Then y minus 2x times 3x. And now it's really simple to solve. So you just need to recognize that as possible and basically just do it. So this would be 6x on top. 1 minus 5x squared equals 5x over 1 minus 6x squared. Cross multiply, so 6x minus 36x cubed equals 5x minus 25x cubed. So move everything to one side, so 0 equals 11x cubed minus x. 
and then you distribute out your x, which gives you 11x squared minus 1. And we know that x cannot be 0, so this is not possible. So that means 11x squared minus 1 equals 0. So that means x is equal, well, x squared is equal to 1 over 11. So just take the square root of 1 over 11, which is square root of 11 over 11. And since x can be, can be whatever, it's just plus or minus. So there's two possible answers, positive square root 11, positive square root 11 over 11, and negative square root 11 over 11. And that basically uh, covers the uh, first part of our junior senior eight person. And here are the answers. Well, thanks for watching.